assalamu alaikum so the topic today is nucleic acid synthesis inhibitors for our convenience we can divide it into folic acid synthesis inhibitors that are anti metabolites and direct inhibitors of nucleic acid that are quinolones folic acid synthesis inhibitors can be further categorized into three categories sulfonamides that are weakly acidic trimethoprim these are weakly basic drugs and cortrimoxazole which is a combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim before going into detail let's see how paba is involved in the formation of dna so paba is converted into dihydrofolic acid by an enzyme dihydropotyroate synthase and then this dihydrofolic acid is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid by an enzyme dihydrofolate reductase then this tetrahydrofolic acid is changed into purines which is which is a constituent of dna so here as paba is changing into dihydrofolic acid by this enzyme it means paba is a substrate for this enzyme the sulfonamides they compete with paba and they they act as a competitive inhibitors of dihydropyruvate synthase because they bind with this enzyme and compete with paba while trimethoprim it acts as an inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase so from antifolate drugs the first one we have is sulfonamides that have a common chemical nucleus resembling paba as i told you sulfonamides act as a competitive inhibitors of dihydropyruvate synthase let's see the resistance resistance to sulfonamide is common it can be because of decreased intracellular accumulation of drug or maybe because of increased production of paba by bacteria we have seen that sulfonamide act as a competitive inhibitor for this enzyme and it competes with paba so if the production of paba is increased it can overcome the effect of sulfonamides resistance can also happen because of decreased sensitivity of dihydropyruvate synthase to sulfonamides we can classify the sulfonamides into three categories as short acting like we have sulfoxazole intermediate acting like we have sulfamethoxazole that has a half life of 10 to 12 hour and long acting sulfonamides like sulfadoxine let's see the clinical uses sulfonamides are active against gram positive gram negative chlamydia and nocardium they are also used to treat different infections like for eye infection we use sulfacetamide and it is used topically for burn infection sulfadiazine it is also used topically and for urinary tract infections it is used orally like we have a drug sulfisoxazole then we have a pro drug which is a sulfasalazine this sulfasalazine is changed into 5 asa which is 5 amino salicylic acid and sp which is sulfa pyridine this 5 asa is also known as misalamine this misalamine is used to treat ulcerative colitis and sulfa pyridine is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis 
most cases of mild to moderate Crohn's are treated with 5 ASA which is me salamine this me salamine works throughout the gastrointestinal tract let's see the pharmacokinetics of sulfonamides they are hepatically acetylated drugs Renally excreted metabolites of sulfonamides causes crystal urea. They have high protein binding. They have high protein binding. The competition of sulfonamides with warfarin and methotrexate for for plasma protein binding transiently increases the plasma concentration of these drugs sulfonamides are contraindicated in pregnancy because they can cause carnitious in neonates if sulfonamide is used in third trimester the reason behind it is that carnitious in ne uh, the reason behind it is that sulfonamide can displace bilirubin from plasma proteins so this thing can put the neonates at the risk of carnitious if sulfonamide is used in third trimester of pregnancy Okay, so let's see the toxicity of sulfonamides that include hypersensitivity. Sulfonamides can cause allergic reactions including skin rashes, fever that occur commonly. Cross allergenicity between the individual sulfonamides should be assumed. Sulfonamides containing drugs have cross allergenicity with all the diuretics that include carbonic acid, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors all loop diuretics except the one loop diuretic that is ethacrinic acid thiazides sulfur antibiotics and salicoxib which is a cox2 inhibitor sulfonamide can cause hemolysis in such patients that are glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficient sulfonamide can also cause phototoxicity it can also cause nephrotoxicity as we have discussed before that sulfonamide may precipitate in urine at acidic ph causing crystal urea and hematuria and of course git disturbances
that include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. These are common side effects of sulfonamides. The selective toxicity of sulfonamide results from inability of mammalian cells. to synthesize folic acid so they must use uh, the patients that are using sulfonamides they must use reformed folic acid that is present in their diet next we have trimethoprim which which is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor we have already discussed this mechanism they are structurally similar to folic acid the resistance of trimethoprim is because of production of dihydrofolate reductase that has a low affinity for the drug the pharmacokinetics of trimethoprim is that it is a weak base so it is trapped in acidic environment and they reach high concentration in prostatic fluid and vaginal fluid large percentage of trimethoprim is excreted unchanged in the urine half life is 10 to 12 hours did you notice one thing the half life of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole it is same so we have cotrimoxazole which is a combination of trimethoprim plus Sulfimethoxazole. It is also known as this combination is also known as bacitracin. This com because of this combination, they have low resistance and synergistic actions. They are active against different organisms. Bacteria also active against fungus and protozoa. In bacteria, cotrimoxazole is used to treat infections that are caused by gram-positive organisms like staph, including MRSA and strep. They are active against gram-negative organisms like E. coli, Salmonella, Shigella and H. influenza. They are cotrimoxazole is a backup drug for listeria and in case of nocardia the drug of choice is cotrimoxazole in fungus cotrimoxazole is used to treat pneumocystis pneumonia and in protozoa cotrimoxazole is used to treat infections that are caused by Toxoplasma gondii. Side effect of trimethoprim or pyrimethamine is bone marrow suppression. In next video, we will talk about direct inhibitors of nucleic acid quinolones. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.